Hi, my name is Megan. I'm part of the customer experience team. And today I'll show you how to set up your agenda for your virtual event. So inside your admin console, you'll want to go to agenda and speakers. We're going to add a session by clicking on this blue add session button. And that's going to bring up a panel on the right hand side where we'll enter in our session details. So we'll enter in our title, choose our session type. We have multiple different session types to choose from. Main stage, this is best for large sessions such as keynotes, event kickoffs or conclusions, um, and you can only schedule one main stage at a time. Breakout sessions are best for smaller, more targeted sessions, and you can schedule as many concurrent breakout sessions as a time as you need. Networking, this is like a speed dating style session type where your attendees will automatically be matched up with other attendees. This is great for networking, cocktail hours, and other socializing options. Workshop, this is more of a roundtable discussion um, where you can have speakers and attendees on camera at the same time. So it's a little bit more of a collaborative environment. Expo, break, and other. These are just placeholders that you can have inside of your agendas to direct your attendees to either take a break, go check out your expo booth, or if you have any other information you can share, you can put it into other. You'll select your date and start time and end time for that session, and you'll also choose your stream provider. So choosing a stream provider allows you and your speakers to create a web conference and broadcast it to an unlimited number of people inside your virtual event. You can use the Excel events built in stream provider, or you can use a third party um, like Zoom, Facebook Live, or Wistia. You'll be able to fill out your description for that particular session. And then we also have advanced settings available. Underneath your advanced settings, you can set the capacity if you're limiting that for the session. You can manage your interactivity, select your session visibility. So if you're having a private session and need to pre-assign your attendees, you are able to do that. For advertising, so if you have any sponsors that are putting on that session or any exhibitors, you can enter in their information here. Iframe, this is if you wanna use a closed captioning service. Tags and tracks, this is where you can put in if there are any relevant tags to that session or tracks to that session. You can also upload documents as well to this particular session. Once you have filled out your session details, you'll also fill out your speaker information. So since this doesn't have any information on it, I won't be able to add it, but let me show you a session that does have the information filled out. So if you ever need to go back into a session and edit those details, just go ahead and click on this pencil icon and it'll give you those details right there. So underneath speakers, we see that we have these two speakers assigned and we can always resend them their speaker invite via this button. You also have a couple settings underneath your agenda settings available. By clicking on agenda settings, we do have an automatic speaker invite email that is sent out. So if you want to use your own communication or if you want to hold off on sending any emails to your speakers, you can disable this. And you can also customize that speaker email as well. Allow attendees to join late. This means that once the session has already started, the session the attendees can jump in um, a couple minutes after the start time. Or if there's a hard start time, you can turn this off. And that means the attendees won't be able to join once the session has started. So once you've completed your session build out, um, you may ask, how does that look for your attendees? So your session details here are, is going to appear on your landing page and also inside your virtual event hub. So on your landing page, you'll have a tab for agenda and then your attendees will be able to preview your agenda before the actual event date. So they'll be able to see your description, the title, what type of session it is, and then also the speakers assigned. Going inside to your virtual event hub, your attendees will be able to see the agenda from your lobby tab. So once they click on agenda, they'll see the sessions listed very similarly to how we saw it on the landing page, but this is where they can also enter into those sessions. 
And you might notice that the main stage and our workshops are different colors. You do, ha you do have the option that you could color customize these um, depending on your branding or how you'd like the look and feel of your event site. So going back to your admin console, we're gonna go to event website, virtual event hub, and then agenda and sessions. And here we'll scroll down till you see color settings. And here's where you can edit the colors for those particular sessions.